Hi, I've just sketched out this uh, Norfolk, little Norfolk scene on a piece of arches. There's a failure on the back of this. So, I'm going to wet the paper and put in a wash, sky wash over that. Paint down to the horizon, I'll go over the roofs of the houses because that would be quite light. Okay, right, the middle, little paint box. Uh, see where I was working away with them. When it was killed by Winds of Blue. It's a colour that's so good, but it's such a strong, it, it overpowers all my student quality stuff. So I'm not going to use it, I'm going to just rub it off. Although it does look good on the overhead skies. So, but we'll put a bit of a bit of cobalt and a bit of Windsor Blue, but not a lot. It's a bit more than that, though. It's a nice gentle Norfolk sky. Just a bit of cloud in there. It's like a bit of it is a bit of light red. And a bit a bit more cobalt. So, okay, let's just lay that down there, very nice and light. Okay, now I'm going to just put a bit of a wash of sienna, a little bit of uh, alizarin for my bank. I thought we'd go over it a bit. Uh, similar sort of sandy colour the other side. Okay, let that dry and go somewhere else. I'll do the path. So that's what the colour. Yeah, a little bit of raw sienna in there. Sandy palm. And when that's a bit dry, I can put some marks on it. Little marks. Right, uh, I'm going to dry that now. So take your headphones up or mute your sound. This is Archer's, 140 pounds rough, beautiful paper. Uh, right, so a bit of cobalt. Oh, in the, in the background here, we're too strong, I think. Okay. Right, we'll do these roofs. So a bit, a bit of a burnt umber, I think. A bit of blue, cobalt, and a bit of alizarin. Ooh, there was a lot of alizarin. And a bit of paint. No, that's not paint, but I'm green. I'm used to working from my, my palette, my, my tray. OK, 
Okay, let's uh, put all this into the silhouette. Okay. Lovely brush. When it dries, I'll put a bit of a tree behind it. And let's go over these. Just catching a bit of light, maybe. dark on there. No, a little bit of red for the chimney, so it won't really show. Right, um, paint's grey, blue. Okay, just just barely hinted at, and a bit, a bit of warm on one side. I think we just use a bit of that palette filth, just a little bit of warm on that side of them. Okay, so that's all we're going to do with that. I'll put this tree in now. So I'm going to use Burnt Sienna, Ultramarine, no there's cobalt on there, that's my Ultramarine there, unused this morning. I'm going to make a nice sort of deepish green, a bit of cab yellow, keep away from that. Windsor. So that's, that's quite a dark, dark white, dark green. And a bit more blue behind that, I think. So a bit of distance there. Okay, so a little bit, a bit more yellow, and we'll just go along here with some bits of landscape. Right, after that we'll put in a bit of sienna. Just the colour right in that. And a nice bit of landscape colour. And some darker umber.
Okay, that's a bit basic. So wash on there, we'll detail that later. Bit of uh, indication of the edge of this path here. Green in here. Follow the shape of the uh, the ground a little bit, and then we put some hard. Ah, oh, the green came. The eyes. Put a number. Bushes. Just a few flicks and not too for that. And some darker on the other side again. Bit of blue in there. Just a nice dry brush. Alright, using that, let's, uh, let's put in some. Nope, don't like that. Brush it out. Bit too hard there. Got a very fine point on it. Lovely squirrel. Uh, just a little bit. And I'll put a bit of dark on the base of that. Just a little bit. Bit of, bit of amber. Bit of blue. Bit of shadow. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, well, I don't think there's much more I can do with that one. I'm going to let that go. I'll find a mount for it and we'll have a look. We'll see what it says. I think it's quite so. Oh, I've got to do my man, haven't I? Right, okay, man. Uh, where's my Chinese brush gone? There it is. Okay, well. We'll put in a bit of bit of red, I think. Um, I'll put a jacket on. Put his head on. We'll do these two too big. And we'll have some bit of dark. His head on a little bit uh, heavy, just a bit of uh, shadow. So let's uh, light coming from sort of front, isn't it? Or from that side. So we'll okay. So that bit, bit of a shadow, can't see anything else. I really want to do with that. Okay, just a, a bright north of day. Let's be good, put bits of red in here and there. Let's try. Right, just add a little bit to counter out or counter change with the, not counter change, but contrast with the greens. 
Okay, uh, mount. That fits in there. Okay. Well, a little bit of oxygen, if it is. That's two, two today. Didn't do any Saturday. I tried, but it didn't come off. I, I was really struggling. So, uh, you might say I'm struggling with this one. Let's just zoom. Uh, zoom in. What does that say? All right. Uh, okay, let's. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, dear. I oh, know, a good day today. Alright, let's zoom in. I was mucking about with a tripod to see if there's a way I could dismantle it and fix it somehow to a a table trapezoid and have it up in front of my head looking down in front of me. But oh no, it's not it's not gonna work. So I quit, gave that up. Okay, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.